Kingdom MMA here at FCC 11 with the new light heavyweight champion, Michael Tugan Junis. Talk us through the fight. Um, you know, I came out there, I, I, I knew that, you know, Adam's a tough guy. I knew he was going to come out right from the gate, try and throw a few jabs and some low kicks. Um, I was prepared for it. Um, I knew that what I was going to do was throw some shots to his body um, and just surprise him. From I threw the shots to his body, I, I saw the look in his eyes change and I thought to myself, I knew he was going to clinch, he's really good in the clinch. I've been working on some dirty boxing from in there and as you can see, I, I, it worked. As soon as I did that, he dropped and it's just time to finish the fight. You are known for your KO power. Was this, was this a game plan going in? Is this a game plan for every fight you know you go in? Is that your speciality? I go into fights, you know, um, looking to finish. Despite, um, you know, my, my, my results, my, my first, I think, two or three fights were actually by submission. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, um, I actually started off with um, submission grappling. That's what I started off with. That was, that was my base. I had to learn how to strike. I was rubbish at it, believe it or not. Um, but since then, um, wrestling and striking, I love it, you know. Um, obviously, as a mixed martial artist, you try to cover all bases. Um, but if I can hit somebody and put them down, I'll certainly do it. You know, you got the bout now. What, what in the future? What can we expect from you? I mean, what, what do you want next? Are you exclusive to FCC now? Um, it depends. We'll talk to Adam. Ad Adam's a great guy. I've never been treated this good by promotion ever. And if he says, "Do you want to come back and fight next week?" I'd say, "Yeah." That's how well they've treated me. You know, I've got uh, nothing but respect, admiration for the show, anyway. And Adam had, had has had his eye on me for a little while. We just had to get a few things correct. You know, um, with regards to me being here, the correct fights. You know. Everything just needs to be right, and he, he certainly did that. He, he has, he, you know, he hasn't cut any corners with it, and I thank him for that. And, um, you know, you can just expect more of the same from me whenever I'm here, seriously. Finally, who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank my team, uh, Wolverhampton MMA, Dan Corbally, Nick Fadiora, you know, all those guys down there that have helped me, you know, tremendously. Um, the guys down at UTC, you know, those guys have pushed me. Um, Leon Edwards has been battering me for five minutes every time we step in the cage. Um, Yannick Bahati, uh, Joe Silk Cummings, Natias Frederick, you know. Um, I definitely need to give, you know, an exclusive big thank you to Andy Clamp and Tom Blackledge. Those guys have pushed me like I have never been pushed before, honestly. The only time I remember ever being pushed like that was when um, everyone was together down at Pure MMA. And those guys, they're some big lads. You know, uh, so a big thank you to those guys. And thank you to everybody that's put up with my miserableness for the 12 weeks that I've trained for this fight. Uh, thanks and congratulations again. Thank you very much. Cheers. It's been a pleasure. Cheers.